In what you might think would be a light heavyweight showdown, we got a absolute heavyweight slobber knocker in this one when Devin the Brown Bear Clark takes on William Knight, who is 11 and 3. And the last time we saw him, he got absolutely smoked, totally outclassed by Maxim Gretchen. And in that fight, he missed weight by like 13 pounds. It was a record and kind of makes sense that he has now made the jump up to heavyweight. And interesting to see Devin the Brown Bear go with him because this is a guy who lost two straight at light heavy. He got smoked by Anthony Linehart Smith. It was in a main event over before it even began in the first round. And then most recently, he got smoked by your boy, the Hulk, Iwan Kuta. Laba and Kute Laba was able to just kind of take him down, control him, and just ultimately grind out a gritty unanimous decision. And a thing with Devin the Brown Bear Clark is like the version of Devin the Brown Bear Clark that we got all the way back at UFC Fight Night McDonald versus Lineker in 2016 is pretty similar to the version that you're going to get this Saturday in the sense that Devin the Brown Bear Clark, despite garnering so much experience, despite, you know, uh, historically training at Jackson Wink, plenty of rounds trained with John Jones, the guy just doesn't seemingly get much better. He kind of almost reminds me, and maybe this is harsh, so if, if it is, let me know, but almost sort of reminds me of like an Aspen lad where it's just like, you know the potential, or at least you thought the potential was supposed to be there, but then ultimately it's just consistent monotony throughout their UFC tenure. So what are your thoughts on this one against William Knight, who, you know, before he lost to Grishin and missed weight by almost 20 pounds, he had one two straight and took out Alonzo Menafield. So what are your thoughts on this matchup, and what are your uh, think? What are you thinking about the fact that this is a heavyweight? No, I think he hit it right on the button. I mean, Devin... Uh... The brown bear Clark literally is Aspen lad, but in a brown bear body, um, you know, has so much potential. I mean, possible champ at, you know, 205, maybe even heavyweight, but like just can't seem to put it all together. Like so much talent, but yet still a massive bum. With that being said, uh, the nightmare William Knight is going to absolutely starch this guy. I mean, he's six foot. Uh, William Knight is like five four. Uh, with that being said, I usually pick the taller guys, but William Knight is just literally mini Hulk, and he's going to probably knock uh, the brown bear's tooth out. Uh, it looks like he's already missing teeth, but it's just a big gap, but he's going to have a bigger gap after this fight. Yeah, and I mean, he's not quite 5'4", the Nightmare. He is 5'10", so he's only going to be a couple inches shorter than Devin the Brown Bear Clark, but the guy is an absolute powerhouse, right? I mean, if you just scroll through his Instagram, you're not going to see any footage of uh, him grappling or striking, but you're going to see a lot of footage of him squatting 600 pounds and benching 450. So the guy is an absolute tank for sure, and I mentioned to see who has the strength advantage in this one because we know the Brown Bear's bread and butter is his grappling, right? This guy was a, uh, a nice college wrestler and uh, has a pedigree a background for sure so you're interested to see what the uh, the wrestling pedigree versus just the brute strength from nightmare will uh, how that will coincide for sure and in this one it looks like 62% is rolling with your boy the knight uh, most of it is brown for that KO 38% however is rolling with the brown bear so your thinking topology is uh, spot on on this one and is it gonna be an early nightmare for the brown bear uh, absolutely. An early nightmare for the early night uh, for a brown bear at night. So uh, he's getting slept by the 5'4 guy. Um, even though he's six foot, he should have the advantage, but he just, man, he just can't put it all together and his chin is absolutely gone. Um, sad to say, but the brown bear is an absolute bum and he's probably getting slept in the first two minutes, I'm going to guess. Um, you know, but I don't know. Am I, am I crazy to say that, that he's getting slept first round? Yeah, it's it's interesting for sure because it's one of those contests where topology is all over the nightmare. Uh, but Devin Clark is a minus 170 favorite. So Vegas seems to think that he's going to be able, he being Devin, is going to be able to just take down William Knight, control him there, sort of like what Maxim Grishin did to him. And we've seen that be a competent game plan uh, against the Nightmare. So ultimately, I don't know, I'm going to roll with Vegas as opposed to Tapology in this one. Uh, although Brown Bear is a guy who, you know, I stand by that. I don't think he's gotten much better and should be better than what he is currently with all the UFC experience and the tough guys he's He's gone against i think he's going to be good enough to take out william knight the nightmare and ultimately i don't know i'm i'm not expecting like uh the right nightmare to appear in this one i think that he's just going to be swinging heavy meat bombs and ultimately he's going to swing wild 
Brown Bear wraps him up, takes him to the ground, and then Nightmare is kind of just a, a squirmer on the bottom, isn't able to escape those positions. So I'm going Brown Bear. I think he gets it done by decision. But if he gets slept by one of those uh, one of those midget meat bombs, then you, you know that that's something that could easily go down for sure, right? Hundred percent. Um, yeah. You guys throw in the comments who you got. You got the nightmare, or are you taking the brown bear? Make sure to smash that meat and subscribe.